Hey, what's up guys? Anders here with another guide. This time we're going to be taking a look at life skills. I'm going to go over what life skills are, what kind of life skills you can do, and um, which ones would be more interesting for you to invest in because um, they take a lot of time and resources. So you don't really want to be doing all of the life skills at once. You want to focus on a few at a time, especially when you're starting out. So before we get into the life skills themselves, just know there are different ranks to every life skill. Uh, you start out at beginner and then you go into apprentice, then skilled, then professional professional, then artisan, then master, and finally guru. Guru is very rare. I don't think very many people have guru. And if they do, it's a little sketchy <laughs> how they got there. But in terms of life skills, let's start with gathering. It's the most vast of the life skills because there's so many different types of gathering. Uh, just so you know, it's an active life skill. It uses energy. And the higher you're gathering a life skill level, the less energy you'll use while you gather and more side materials you'll get while gathering. Now, there are different types of gathering, lumbering, mining, fluid collecting, butchering, tanning, and actual gathering with a hoe or with your bare hands. Fluid collecting, tanning, and butchering are a decent moneymaker depending on the material you get. And here's a, a quick tip just when you're starting out, you're, if you're lumbering or if you're mining, you're gonna get a lot of these logs and rough stones. They may seem kind of useless in the beginning, but trust me, you wanna save that for some very important crafts that you have to do later on if you spend a lot of time in the game. Really not worth selling your logs. It would be great for me if you sold your logs <laughs> and rough stone, but um, I would advise you not to because uh, the money that you can make with them, for example, logs you need a ton of for uh, the Aferia sailboat, you wanna start saving them up for that eventuality. Now moving on to processing. Processing is a semi-AFK life skill. Higher processing level allows more products to proc up to artisan after artisan. I don't believe the procs go up, but I think maybe you get less fails over time so maybe you save some time through that. It's weight limited, so the Venice Seal and Karki outfit are useful for processing straight from the warehouse. It's the only way you can do that. Um, that is a cash shop item though. It's not necessary in whatsoever, but if you want to do overnight processing, which some people do, it is pretty good. You'll see whether or not it's something you want to get into, but it's definitely not necessary. You can make money processing or overnight if you have a lot of them. You can melt flax, cotton, silk, and fleece as a good way to power level processing on the early stages and once you get to artisan or professional you can start melting steel it's pretty good uh, so you actually make some decent money while leveling um, let's move on to cooking cooking is also a semi afk skill higher cooking level allows for more recipes and number of items produced as well as top quality procs from cooking um, it's a time limited life skill so basically the utilities you use and uh, the weight that you have will restrict how long you can go cooking so basic utilities are are very good for a starting point. You can also buy a cash shop item, the Kanape outfit that cuts down two seconds of your cooking time and also gives you 15% cooking XP. It's also a combat suit, so you can use it in, in combat for 10% experience. My opinion, if you're gonna spend any money in the cash shop and you wanna do cooking as well as combat, that's probably the best outfit to get. It's really, really good. In terms of what you should be cooking, beer and essence of liquor are good for leveling. Uh, beer is just very useful in general and essence of liquor is also very useful for other types of recipes. I like to cook date palm wine. It's pretty good for hitting artisan really quickly. Food specials sell very well. Um, ingredients can be a little bit difficult to gather, but um, if you're really into cooking, it shouldn't be too bad. Now, alongside cooking, alchemy is very similar. It's also a semi-AFK. Higher alchemy allows for more recipes and number of items produced, as well as top quality procs from alchemy. Now, it's also time limited. There is no cash shop outfit for it. The basic utilities are a good starting point, and if you want to start leveling you can start making pure powder essence and clear liquid reagent those are good for leveling and they're also very useful olvia daily quests are very good for leveling as well if you want to do the olvia daily runs clown blood sinner blood and those other types of bloods are really good for hidden artisan and they're also useful for other elixirs that you'll be making down the road their ingredients are a little bit more difficult to get than cooking in my opinion but if you can start making elixirs and start gathering the necessary materials um, you start making some pretty decent money you can also craft magic crystals. Some specific magic crystals are really hard to find on the market so you can see if you want to corner that type of market and make some money off of that or just make some crystals that you need for uh, whatever alchemy quest you need to do. Now training is an AFK activity. Higher level allows you to train skills faster supposedly and it uh, gives you a slight boost to the amount of horse XP you're getting. It's a high time investment, pretty low reward to be honest. The Venia riding outfit you get from the cash shop is very good. If you're really serious about training horses it gives you 20% added horse 
XP on top of the life skill costumes you can get in the game. Uh, the merchant and noble wagons are good for leveling multiple horses at once. And one thing to note is that you need to be aware of horse killers. These are players that like to kill AFK horse trainers that are um, autopathing outside safe zones. So make sure you autopath overnight in safe zones so that you're not getting killed by these assholes. Now, horse breeding is buffed recently, so you can uh, probably get tier 7s and tier 8s a lot easier, but the horse value is dependent on the tier and the skills, so certain skills will give a horse a lot more value than other skills. There's horse racing as well if you want to get into that. It's pretty unpopular, but it has some decent rewards if you want to get into it. Now, fishing is probably the most used life skill, I think, because it's so easy to do. It's AFK. You can use energy to do a hard cast, but you wouldn't really use that normally probably you're gonna be um, AFK fishing overnight or whatever so you are not gonna be using energy higher level allows more fish types to be caught as well as the use of more fishing rods and a chance for durability consumption on rods lessen you can pretty much start fishing as, as soon as you get to Velia you can just buy a fishing rod I believe there's a quest that even gives you a fishing rod river fishing uh, so high Dell Calpheon tariff anywhere there's a river is a pretty good place to get relics those relics sell for pretty decent money although I've seen a lot of people put up relics on sale now so the prices are going a little bit down but it's still pretty good money if you're starting out you can also buy an Aferia rod or a Balanos rod to start out if you have the money it's about almost about a million silver but those rods you can actually repair the normal rods you can't the fishing life skill is very inventory reliant so actually more inventory equates to more money per trip and there are also fishing hotspots you can uh, use and you'll they'll be like seagulls and, and fishes jumping out of the water you'll see them and you can fish there to get higher quality fish for a duration of time uh, coelacanths are good money those are fish that are worth a lot of money they're usually found near the coasts and they're in the hot spots you can see them but you can only catch them once you can also benefit from having master two trading because you can then fish and trade it in for a ton of money so you'll increase the amount of profit you're making uh, and also as with training you have to be careful of pk because if you're not in a safe zone you're gonna have people who like to clip their boats onto you while you're fishing and then kind of drag you over to the middle of the ocean just kind of leave you for dead there are people who just straight up kill you if you're not in a safe zone but you know just the usual bullshit uh so just be careful if you're actually fishing overnight just make sure that uh you're on top of something and uh, that you're uh, actually in a safe zone now hunting is an active life skill you use energy it's higher level seems to allow more muskets to be equipped like fishing it's really slow to level unfortunately but it recently got buffed we have more hunting options near balanos mountains and stuff like that uh, there are actually bosses that you can hunt like Hulk, which will appear throughout the world, uh, and whales that will appear in the in the in the sea. But those require hunting groups, so it may be hard to to find a group from time to time. If you can find the group and you can kind of establish yourself as a hunter, then it's pretty decent money at high levels. The devs are really pushing hunting hard, so I think it might actually end up being a very good life skill in the long run. But for now, it's not that good. You can also do daily quests to kind of help you level, but um, again, it's really slow to level. Now trading is a semi AFK activity. You can use energy when you bargain to get a little bit more money, but if you're just strictly leveling, it's really not worth it. It's only worth it when you're at a higher trading level and you want to get the max amount of profit that you can from a trade run. Now higher levels allow you to purchase and sell more types of trade goods and at master two and allows you to do a quest granting you silver bonus for items sold to desert areas. It's pretty slow to level. It got nerfed and then buffed frequently. Depending on the exploits, they kind of go between nerfing and buffing them. Junk crates are really popular. What those are essentially is you take a junk item like iron ore and you take a ton of that and you take blackstone powder and you make a crate out of it. It's not very efficient to, to level, but it's an AFK way to level. So once you have a ton of crates, then you can do one huge turn in to level yourself all the way to master two. It takes forever. I wouldn't honestly recommend it unless you're already established and you have money to, to go around. The normal way takes a lot of time, but it isn't actually terrible and you're not really losing a lot of money. I guess you are losing time, which is money, but if you're casual about it, it's not too bad. The higher your trade level, actually, the more money you make from trade items. There's also rolling method but that's really boring. It's the most boring way possible. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you wanna look into it, go, go ahead and see if that's for you. Trading's only useful really if you make your money from fishing or you like to do trade runs or, or even if you grind at pirates because a lot of the drops that you get are trade coins, which you can then turn in with the 
master two buff to get a ton of money and now farming farming is an active life skill it's energy dependent the higher level you have of farming the less energy you consume every time you prune and gather crops it's a good source of income it's a good source of hard and sharp crystal shards it's actually the only way to get milk aside from the mini game and quest uh, top quality fruits and vegetables sell well because they cut down on material needs for cooking and alchemy it's also good to couple farming with alchemy and cooking uh, because you can get a lot of the ingredients you get and for alchemy especially you get a lot of weeds which is really really good for alchemy it's a bit tedious to manage so it's a lot of positives but the, the main downside is, is very tedious you have to manage it a lot you can send workers to manage your crops but you won't actually receive hard and sharps and you won't actually level your farming life skill so my suggestion is to just level it up to whatever level you want uh, and then just send the worker so you can just focus on purely making money and not just leveling now the final life skill that we have currently in the game is sailing a sailing is a semi afk activity it doesn't take any energy and the higher levels allow you to have more skills on your ships it's difficult to level at the time um, you also need a, a vessel to, to level so a fishing boat even a raft will be fine or a sailboat of course will be will be the best daily missions in port rat actually help you a lot they give you a big boost you can only do it once a day but it's a big time commitment because it'll take about an hour of real life time to complete depending on where you want to and in the item only ocean counts for leveling so just because you're sailing the seas that doesn't count for towards the sailing skill it will probably become more relevant once the hostile region is released near uh, port rat so that's pretty much what you have to look forward to sailing is kind of dead right now but i would just slowly level it up if you want to be a serious ship captain in the future at this year's oasis festival pearl abyss announced that we would be getting climbing introduced as a life skill that would possibly allow you to scale castle walls at high levels uh, also art as a life skill allowing you to create your own paintings and pottery for use in the game uh, not much more info apart from that but we should be getting more info at the end of the year now that's pretty much the comprehensive introductions to every life skill in the game hopefully this was useful to you to get an idea of what the life skills do and what could be appealing to you i do suggest you try all of them they're really fun if you're not really crazy about optimizing your gameplay doing all of them is still okay although i do still suggest you focus on just a few that maybe complement each other if you want to be serious about making money <clears throat> now sorry if this audio was a bit off i'm, I'm a little sick right now but i wanted to get this video out for you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below as always you can find me on twitch at twitch.tv andersxiv you can follow me there and once again thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll see you in the next one